Hello and welcome to the second unit of the Qt tutorial from tutorialcoding.com. In this unit I will create an application that consists of a button. When the button is pressed, a pop-up message will be displayed over it. Qt applications are generally interactive, meaning that after start the program enters a loop in which it waits until events happen that it will react to. Some of these events originate from signals, which are, ver which are a very flexible way to let objects communicate with each other by connecting them to slots. When a signal is triggered, the main loop executes any connected slot. You can picture signals as plugs and slots as wall sockets. Each class inheriting the QObject root class can declare these and connect them to make applications interactive. To demonstrate this, let's create a new application. Its name will be PushMe. Like in the last unit, the project setup wizard leaves us with a skeleton application that has the main window based on QWidget. First I remove the destructor and the optional par parent argument of the root windows constructor. I include the necessary headers. and change the root window's parentage to Q push button, making the root window one big button. I set the button's text. When I click the button, nothing happens, because no connection. To fix this, I first declare a new slot. In the implementation of the slot, I call the static function QMessageBox information. This creates a pop-up message box centered above its parent. It takes three arguments, a pointer to the parent, a title and the message to be displayed. But the application still looks and behaves the same as before, ignoring clicks on the button. I still need to connect the button's clicked signal to the newly uh, declared slot. This is done with the QObject connect method. It takes four arguments. 
the pointer of the sender object, the signal, the pointer of the receiver object and the slot it connects to. Now the application is complete. When I click the button, it emits a, it's a, it emits a signal that is connected to a new slot, showing the message box. Thank you for watching and goodbye.